Hi, my name is Brent Miller, and uh, today we're going to talk about how does a common household commode work. There are two types of common household commode. Some are what they call a dual tank or a diaphragm type tank, and these work off water pressure, and that uh, causes them to flush somewhat a little bit stronger, but most of the time they're used in a commercial application. Also, you have the gravity flow, and that's the main one we're going to concentrate on today. The gravity flow, it works in the sense that you have the water closet in the back, and of course it's full of water, and generally has between two and three gallons of water in it, and sometimes their state law regulate on how much water they can actually hold in them. But, and then you have this um, uh, flapper valve, and uh, you have this in the back inside your water closet, the bowl in the back behind the toilet where the water stays, and then you can, uh, this is the actual flapper and how it works. And what happens, you have two to three gallons of water surrounding this area right here, and then uh, you pull this uh, up, and then that, of course that water rushes through this hole, and, uh, and it causes, as it's flowing down through the sewage, it causes suction, so which is what causes the water to rush out of the bowl along with the waste or whatever you is you want to get rid of. Um, all, then, and this is how that part works there, and you can understand the, the visual here as you flush this handle, it pulls this and lets all this water out. Now let's talk a minute about how the actual water gets into the water closet in the first place. And again, the water closet is the bowl behind the back of the toilet. You have what they call this uh, flow valve or flush valve. And what happens is uh, water, uh, you have a supply line that comes into the bottom here and it screws onto this part right here and it screws on right here. And then uh, you have water supply and this is a little valve right here. And then uh, what happens as the bowl fills up with water, this connects into the bottom of the bowl and it sticks up there and you've probably seen them. Sometimes they have that little arm that comes in, it's got that little big black ball on the end of it and it works the same way, except this one's a little more compact and it's less likely to get hung up on different things. But as you pull, as the water fills in it, this thing is very lightweight and it fills up and it controls this valve right here. And as this valve closes, it prevents water from coming in. Also, you have this little adjustment right here that you can turn, and as you turn this, this controls how high this, the water level is, and it controls how much this goes up, and you do that by turning this right here. A lot of people underestimate the importance of this little water tube. This little water tube goes into the overflow valve, and this water flue, and these two are connected, uh, the overflow tube and the flush valve are connected by this little tube right here, and it connects right onto the side of it, and it does it just like this. And uh, as you put it on there, it, um, and what happens, this water goes into this overflow tube, which is in the bottom, and it goes into, and it goes, by going in here, it goes directly into the toilet. And because when you push all that water down through there, it sucks all the water out of the bowl. And in this, as the water fills back up, it comes out of this tube and it, it's what replenishes the water and builds up the water level inside your bowl. 